Okay, this is Piper again. Um, this is a CWE battle. Um, I think it's about 8.5 denarii each. 8.5k denarii each. Um, playing with um, a random, I don't know. Um, it's a player called Pokerface. Um, I don't know him before. So this is a this is a first. Um, just check out his army. He's got Macedon. So he's brought six Royal Pike men with three units have no upgrades. Two units have two upgrades and one has one upgrade. He's brought three Christian archers, more upgrades. One light lancer, two companion cavalry. Oh, rather two light lancer, two companion ca uh, cavalry, no upgrades. My opponents are Spain. Well, a player called Spain. He's brought the Lucid Empire, and the other opponent is Lucas, and he's playing as Carthage. So check out Spain's back army. He's bought five Phalanx Pikemen. Two Cataphracts with three upgrades. Two Companion Cavalry, two upgrades. And one General's Bodyguard. Um, his ally uh, Lucas brought five sacred band um, three upgrades on all of them uh, their attack upgrades two slingers five upgrades and he's brought two sacred band cavalry with two upgrades and one General cavalry, general general's armored body bodyguard. So I realise that I've got the archer's superiority against Solicited Empire. So we're going to march forward, see if we get some kills on the the phalanx. Um, my opponent Spain's gone for quantity rather than quality. He's brought phalanx pikemen. As opposed to silver shield pikemen, so these guys don't have the stats of the Seleucid elite uh, phalanx, so they won't have as good as morale as they could have had if they had the better upgrades. Um, his ally Lucas, um, he's got a very powerful uh, infantry force. So he'll be tough to beat. So we're gonna sort of line up. We'll get close to the enemy. We're a bit separated here. So Lucas could have came in here and double team me there. But it looks like he's staying put. He has his pikes in phalanx formation. So it looks like he wants to stay there. So Advance my men forward and we're taking some shots at the pike men with my archers. Oh, I forgot to go with my army. Um, basically I have three legion urban cohorts. Um, go two gold attack in each one. Um, five archers. And their gold attack bronze defense. And I bought three cavalry, two Praetorian cavalry, gold gold, and one equity, five upgrades. I think it was gold attack and silver defense. So Slucid's rushing forward. Um, I'm retreating my forces back. 
you can see the um, the so the Sosid Empire and um, the, the pike are very weak to arrows. You check out all the dead here. So we retreated our urban line because these urbans will just destroy the the pikemen. And my ally Poker Face is moving forward and. Also be aware that Locust has a slight hill advantage as well. Um, Macedon already made a mistake. Um, he got too close to the sacred band being outside Phalanx formation. So he's now engaging. Um, check on my side. Uh, Spain or Swiss Empire came in for an early assault with his Cataphrax and he also has a hill advantage for my cavalry are so much better than his that they'll just um, they won't last too long Cataphrax are good cavalry but unupgraded against gold gold Praetorian cavalry um, they don't really last too long so also um, He's also getting surrendered slightly as well. Uh, my equities went around the back and attacking from the with his left flank. Um, two pike men washing my archers. Um, one's just routed there with the lower morale. And um, he swapped to flame as well. So you can see in this situation the pikeman's wavering. That's because he's been surrounded and he's been flamed. So there's no way um, this pikeman's going to catch up with the archers, they're too slow. So it's highly likely that unit's going to rout. Uh, in the meanwhile, my ally is fighting the, the Carthage um, sacred band. Now this, this, battle, this battle is also played on huge scale and I don't tend to play huge scale a lot. Um, when you play Carthage at CWB in possibly 31k, you want to take guard mode off when you fight um, Royal Pikemen. Because Royal Pikemen have longer spears. However, you can see um, Poker Face is keep. Well, Poker Face just been routed there. You can see um, the, the Sacred Band. They're keeping formation, so that indicates a guard mode's been kept on. So possibly that's a that's a benefit on new scale. Possibly keeping guard mode on for for all uh, phalanx. Um, so basically, my ally just had his whole army routed. Um, he still got some Cretan archers, which he's using to shoot the secret band with. Apart from that, um, doesn't really have much left. So, bringing over my army. So we're just going to line up. We still do have Archer Superiority. We've got two Cretans and all my Archers. However, Pokerface should be shooting the uh, Slingers, not the Phalanx, because frontal attacks on Phalanx with arrows of the defense of, for example, Secret Band, you don't get many kills. So, you're better off um, shooting the backs of the Phalanxes. So I've charged in my cavalry to try and take out some slingers. Because right now if we can take out the missile troops and the cavalry makes the infantry very vulnerable. So I have a cavalry charge. And Lucas has counter charged my cavalry, but I managed to retreat them just in time. At this point, um we're trying to take out the cavalry of Lucas. So basically I've got one unit of cavalry here to defend our left flank. The rest of the cavalry is on the right flank. So I think 
we have our archer set to auto fire so that's really a mistake in our team we should have been targeting the slingers because those slingers are still I think there's five upgrades on the slingers so they're still pretty powerful so I think we might speed this up slightly and you can see the cavalry charge went in for the charge and slingers and the armoured bodyguard so we lost one unit cavalry there So we had another charge with the um, cavalry against the slingers and they routed. So all that's left is the five units of sacred band, uh, the generals, armor bodyguard and one slinger. It doesn't sound that much but you have to remember that these sacred band are very powerful. So. My Arvins are gold attack. I think either silver or gold attack. Uh, yeah, two upgrades, so they'll be silver attack. So they won't be enough alone to defeat all these secret band. Um, so we need to use the archers properly to neutralize the threat. So again, cavalry hitting the slingers again. Um, if Lucas had charged in with his secret banner, he could have done a lot of damage to the cavalry. But he was a little bit slow there. And now we're trying to target the secret band units over here with all the archers. Because they have the backs turned. And in addition, we're also using the cavalry to attack the cavalry. Well, the enemy cavalry, rather. Probably a mistake in our part as well. Um, I charged my cavalry in to attack the unit that we were shooting with the archers, so we would have suffered um, quite a lot of friendly fire from our own archers in that battle there. But I think as long as we kill the cavalry, um, it makes our life a lot easier. So now we've been swapped over from because that unit secret band routed. We're now using all the archers to hit the the armoured uh, bodyguard unit because that unit also has the general unit and basically we want to route the sacred band so if we can kill the general they're more prone to routing um, also we've charged in our um, urbans as well again it's probably a mistake in my part we probably should have used all the archers first before engaging with the infantry but guess that's just how the battle turned out so we did a faint charge there on that sacred band which meant we got a few extra kills when they turned around however my generals just died because we faint rounded that unit and we attacked that unit but Lucius must have realised that and he turned his phalanx round just at the right time. So I'm pretty sure that cavalry will come back. But it leaves Lucas the option to have an ambo me now on a on our right flank. So all these archers are now targeting that secret banner who's trying to outflank us and they're getting a lot of kills because again um, the phalanx are very powerful um, frontal attacks 
But if you attack the backs, they're very, very weak. So they're just getting killed here. But obviously Lucas is a um, good player. Um, um, he, he's managed to kill all my cavalry. And he's still doing a good job defending his um, flanks. So... Still um, making the right moves here, he's rushing my archers now. However, his general has just been killed by um, the flaming arrows. So that's going to make routing his units much easier. Plus, when the enemy general routed, um, my urbans came back from routing. When the enemy general was killed, rather, uh, I'm not too sure on this one, but I think when the enemy general writes, it kind of gives your men slightly better morale. So some of my units came back from writing. So all that's left is just one unit sacred band, and they're probably going to write soon. Um, they're getting flamed, and they're being surrounded. And you can see on the stats that they're wavering. So in all honesty, uh, the battle is pretty much won now. Um, the battle started well. Um, I was able to take out Seleucid Empire with very few casualties. Uh, Lucas um, did a good job taking out a lot of Macedon without many casualties. So really well played by by him I think if he'd um, if him and his ally had worked better together um, they would have had a good chance of winning he certainly brought a good army um, and he was able to able to use his cavalry well but in this situation uh, when you when you've been surrounded by so many units and five archers it's so difficult to do anything here he could have put his troops into loose formation, but that would only prolong the battle. Um, it's only a matter of time before the unit routes, and they're really wavering here, and they're routed. So that was a good game. Um, I think it's always good to play different players. Um, they always learn new things. So that was a good game all. Uh, well played by Lucas. Good game all.